Hey, this is Mark Moore, aka Tuxedo Mark, at various places on the internet. It is 2.10 p.m. according to my clock radio on Wednesday, July 27, 2011. And uh, in this um, video today, I want to get a little bit serious, I guess, uh, with y'all. Now, don't worry, I'm not abandoning the channel or nothing like that, but um, I'd like to kind of give you a preview of my future plans. Now, now the main point of this is that I've decided to uh, kind of scale back Awesome Gamer a bit. I'm not abandoning it, I'm not ending the series because I know it's got you know some kind of following. Uh, but doing one episode per month or at least an average of one episode per month, you know, 12 per year, that, that's a bit too much for me. Uh, and there's a few reasons for that that I'll get into. But let, let's just say for now it's going to be a minimum of six reviews, like game reviews, and... You know, I might up the specials a bit because the specials don't require me to record video footage and stuff like that. So I might, you know, get a bit more of those out. But, um, okay, there's a few reasons for that. Uh, and I'll try to be as eloquent as possible about it, I guess. Uh, I don't promise complete coherency, but here we go. Okay. Um, when I started Awesome Gamer, uh, I was, you know, I was into game review scene, which I still am, and I want to contribute to it. Um, and, you know, I started out with Windows Movie Maker. It was crude, but it allowed me to understand the very basics of video editing skills. And then, you know, I got, uh... Uh, Womble MPEG Video Wizard 5.0, and that, that's miles above Movie Maker. Uh, so that allowed me to learn more video editing skills. Now, the thing is, though... Um, okay, I'll, I'll start with one reason why I'm scaling it back. First of all, I, I started getting behind from the beginning of this year. Uh, with various distractions and stuff like that. And now trying to record and edit, you know, 12 videos for the entire year to try to play catch up. That That's, uh, not working out very well. Um, few reasons. I mean, there's various life, uh, real life distractions, but I mean, hmm, how do I start this? Okay, uh, let, let's start with a, uh, very basic thing, time. Um, I record, like, you know, game reviews, I have to record the footage myself, I have to record the game footage, and I have to write the script and record narration and then edit it. Now, editing and writing the script I can do pretty much any time that I'm at home and have free time, but... Any recording that has to be done, whether it's the narration or the footage of me, uh, which, by the way, recording the footage for me, it takes longer to set it up than it does to record it because I have to take my camera out of my closet and, um, you know, set everything, set all the cables and stuff up. And then recording the game footage. Um, I have to, you know, bring my console into a living room and hook it up to a DVD recorder. Now, those things I have to do when I have the house to myself, which means when I'm home and when my mom's not home. Because, you know, she could be asking for me to do something else for her or she might be wanting to watch TV or whatever, you know. She might come in and distract me while I'm trying to record footage for myself, so... I have a limited amount of time during which I can do that. Um, that's one thing. And another thing is my job. Obviously, um, I 
work at a certain retailer. I won't say which one on here, but you know, just go to my uh, just go to my channel's page on YouTube. You'll see it. Anyway, uh, the scheduling is very erratic. I mean, I might get scheduled for only a handful of days per week, like maybe two, maybe one, maybe none at all. But the thing is, then I would have to resort to asking them for more hours, or I might get a call saying, Hey Mark, you want to come in and work today? As soon as you can get in. So it's like, I I could get called in at a moment's no at without any notice, reason, really, and um, then there go my plans for the day. Um, so it's like, if I want to record something, and it's like, then I get the phone call, I'm like, oh, well, gotta go to work. And, uh, and I can't refuse because I need the hours. I, I make just a little bit above minimum wage, and you know, we've had a wage freeze for the past few years, so. Um, okay, so that's that time is uh, one of the big reasons. Um, another is, um, feedback. Now, I, I understand that, you know, this, uh, that Awesome Gamer has its fans. I don't know exactly how many, but judging just by how many people, uh, leave comments, you know, I appreciate it. Um... The thing is, um, recording and editing a game review takes longer than, I mean, with few, with a few exceptions, it takes longer than writing a fanfic. Now, I've been writing fanfics on the internet since, like, 1996. Um, starting with, like, you know, Captain and the Game Master, I created a miniseries, a movie, and, um... Five virtual seasons, as well as some uh, failed, like two separate failed spin-off series. But yeah, I that that was a lot, and I, me and you know the other writers, we were able to get like an episode out pretty much every week. Now, um, I, I've scaled back on fanfic writing. I'm now writing mostly. When I have something to say, whether it's about a topic or trying to uh, show my take on a character or whatever, and I think two of the most meaningful fanfics that I've ever written are based on Archie Comics. Uh, there was Betty Cooper, This Is Who I Am, which I wrote in 1999, and um, Betty Cooper, Woman for All Seasons, which I started in 2006 and just recently finished, like earlier this month. Yeah, it took me around over five years. It's the sequel, and that's up too. And uh, uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, I'm trying to write when I have something worth saying. Now, the thing is, I usually get more feedback on fanfics than I do on um, on, vid on videos like Awesome Gamer, where I have. To where I don't just, you know, shoot it and uh, put it up like this. But, I mean, like, stuff where I have to edit it and stuff like that. Um, so the ratio between uh, amount of time spent and uh, and reviews is uh, pretty low for the for uh, Awesome Gamer and stuff like that. Now, as I said, that, that doesn't mean I'm abandoning it. I'm still going to be doing Awesome Gamer. I don't want you all to panic or nothing. Um, by the way, if this runs more than 15 minutes long, which it might, then you know, just be sure to watch part two. Um, okay. Uh, so, so feedback is uh, one of the other things. Also, um, to get 
to, to get a bit more personal, I mean, you know, I, I love playing video games and I enjoy doing the game reviews, but it doesn't quite, it doesn't allow me to share an artistic vision. I, I can do that with fanfics, but not so much with game reviews. I mean, you can get a bit of my personality and what I'm trying to do in Awesome Gamer because I focus on female characters primarily, and that's always been a part of me. I've always preferred the female characters in any kind of fiction that I watch or read. And it seems that over the years, ever since I got on the internet in 1996, I mean, since then, it's skewed more in favor of the female characters. Like, when I started writing the Captain in fanfics, you no, know, I would focus on Kevin. Of course, I would give Lana a huge, you know, equal role to him. But then I started focusing more on Lana. So, as it went on, like, towards the end, like, 2000, when the final, you know, season 8 episodes went up on my site, so, uh, and ever since then, I, it's just got more and more in favor of female characters. I'm not sure why that is, I mean, maybe it's because I find them cute, I don't know. Um, so, when I write fanfics, I tend to write about female characters, and you, you can get a hint of that. An awesome gamer when I, you know, focus on Chun Li or whatever. But um, the thing is, awesome gamers kind of video game reviews are kind of limited in artistic expression, which is important to me. Um, I have recently, and this also ties into the time aspect of it. I have recently discovered the fan editing community. You can go to fanedit.org. It's where fans take movies, take TV series, and they edit them to their own personal liking. And I'm working on a few fan edits. One of them um, has been approved. It hasn't been uploaded yet. Uh, the reviewer is uploading it for me. It's going to take a while. Another one is done, and I'm seeking approval, and I've got, like, I'm working on two others right now. So, uh... I mean, you know, those, I don't know how much feedback they'll get on them, um, but at the same time, it's allowing me some artistic expression within, you know, various fandoms. I get to show my own personal take of how I think the story should play out, um, so that, that's what I'm doing there, and... Uh, whenever I feel like editing, my first instinct is, oh, let's work on the fan editing. You know, my first instinct isn't Awesome Gamers, oh, let, let's do Carly's story, or, uh, or, you know, the extended version of the Gundam Wing Clips episode, and yes, I'm serious about that. Uh, or my, uh... Or my Immortal Edition of Highlander Endgame, or my shortened version of the second Transformers film, or whatever, you know? I've, I've got various half-baked ideas in addition to those in my head, so, uh, so that, that's going to be keeping me busy. And that, that's the thing that I'm most excited about wanting to do. And, um... And that ties in time, so I mean, time, the time that I have to myself and that I spend on doing that, I mean, you know, there's, uh, I, I kind of feel like I want that to be more of my focus than Awesome Gamer. So, 